here, let's, let's see what this says. I have a 10.4 gram mixture of table sugar and salt. When I dissolve this in 150 grams of water, I get a freezing point P of my solution is minus 2.24 degrees Celsius. And so since the FP of my solvent, pure solvent, water is 0 degrees Celsius, my delta T freezing is 2.24. Okay, and so let's see, what else are we going to need? Um, we have a... Um, 50 grams of water, so we have 150 grams of our solvent, or 0 0.150 kilograms, all right, and the Kf of our solvent of water is 1.86, so delta Tf is I M K F. And so our I, well, here, the thing we have to deal with here is the fact that we have a mixture of substances. For the sugar, I is going to equal 1. For the salt, I is going to equal 2. And I put this problem in here because... Uh, sometimes you run into problems like this where we have mixtures of substances. And so we want to look at what is it we know about these two. Well, I'm going to just call, let's go up here. I'm going to say that X is equal to my grams of NaCl and that Y is equal to my grams of sugar. Okay, and our molar mass... Um, of the sugar we're going to use 342 grams per mole and then the sodium chloride we had before was 58 grams per mole all right so what what do we know about this it seems like we've got kind of a bunch of unknowns this right here we don't know what the value is. It's a mixture of values there. So let's let's kind of see what we can do about that. We do know our delta T, 2.24, and then we have this I times M thing here. We're going to treat it kind of as one thing, times the 1.86, our constant. So we know that when we put the, I, the Van Hoff factor and the molalities together, for these, 2.24 divided by 0.86, then we get 1.20. So let's see what we have here. And I may need to actually move some of this because I think I'm going to run out of room. But let's just give it a go. All right, so what do I know about this? Well, okay, I've got two unknowns. And so I kind of need two relationships here to solve for. Well, I know that the mass of the sugar plus or sorry, mass of the sodium chloride plus the mass of sugar, I know that's equal to 10.40. And then I also know that the, that two times the molality of the sodium chloride plus one times the molality of the sugar is going to equal 1.2. And my molality, remember, is moles of solute over kilograms of solvent. Okay, so I know that, all right, what's moles of the solute? In this case, it's going to be the grams divided by the molar mass. So I know for sodium chloride, I have that two times the number of grams divided by my molar mass And that per, what do I have, uh, 0.150 kilograms plus 1 times 
y over 342 per 0 0.150 kilograms, that that's equal to 1.20. And I knew I was going to run out of room on this. All right, let's see if we can let's, let's see if we can simplify this down a little bit without taking up too much room here. So we have, uh, let's see, I have um, two. Divided by fifty-eight. See, is that going to be right? So I'm getting, to check my numbers on this, 230x plus 0.0195y is equal to 1.20. Okay, so here... And here are my two equations. And so I'm going to do some substitution. And I think I'm going to have to do this on a sheet of paper because I'm running out of room to plug this in. But let me just, let's just solve and then I'll, I'll get it down to one equation because I still have a little piece left here. Um, so we're wanting, see we want the percent by mass of sugar. So y is the one we really want. So we're going to say, rearrange this and say that x is going to equal 10.40 minus y. And I'm going to substitute that in down here. So 0 0.230 times 10.4 minus y plus 0 0.0195 times y is equal to 1.20. Separate this out down here. Okay, and so we're going to solve that for y. And then once you have y, that's your grams of sugar. And you will, your percent sugar is going to equal y divided by the total mass times 100. Um, and... Let me see. So, point two three times equals Sorry, I'm having to do this on another sheet of paper so that I can find the answer for you, but And okay, if I did the math right, I get that we had 5.66 grams of the sugar, and then divide by 10.4 times 100, and so I'm getting a percent of. Let me put a little line down here to separate that. Uh, about 54% sugar on that. Okay, if you have any questions on this one or would like to see this worked out in more detail than I had space to do on here, just see me in class.